heads of General Patch's 7th Army continue the pursuit of the Germans in southern France. The main body of the Nazi 19th Army has retreated up the narrow Rhone Valley, and Allied forces press forward to block escape routes. Numerous French towns are liberated en route. At Marionan, 23rd August, in their hasty retreat, the Nazis were forced to leave behind aircraft which were French, but which the Germans had begun to take over by changing the markings. to Montelamar, where Allied strategy stopped the enemy in his tracks. Large amounts of wrecked Nazi equipment indicate the success of the trap that was sprung when American forces driving up the Durance Valley suddenly struck west to the Rhone. 15,000 Germans were isolated in a pocket in this area. Some of the trapped Germans attempted to penetrate our roadblocks, and a great number were captured or killed. In two days, 800 loaded motor trucks and two batteries of 88-millimeter guns were captured near Montelamar. In addition, artillery and aircraft pounded enemy convoys stretching for many miles. In the south, as well as in the north, staggering losses pile up for Hitler's divisions wherever the Allies managed to outmaneuver the retreating Nazis. Horse-drawn vehicles are included in the wreckage. A German 340mm railroad gun. Bulldozers are put into operation on highways littered with wrecked and abandoned equipment, clearing the way for our columns. have advanced through rugged alpine country to Grenoble, 140 miles above the Riviera invasion beaches. This large industrial city is also an important communication center. Its capture enables the Allies virtually to sever communications between the German forces in France and in Italy. At Grenoble, 924 German soldiers and 17 officers were captured through the ingenuity of a single American infantry officer, First Lieutenant Clarence E. Coggins. He himself was captured by the Nazis while on a patrol, but Lieutenant Coggins succeeded in convincing the German commander that it was best he surrender his unit rather than face more powerful American forces. The line of march points through mountainous terrain toward the escape gap at Belfort and contact with the 3rd American Army. The combined operations of the Allied forces in northern France and General Patch's divisions driving from the south have already cost the Germans an estimated 60,000 men. Ahead lies the concerted assault on the West Wall, beginning the Battle of Germany.
watched these German films of naval patrols, possibly in Italian or French coastal waters. Heavy losses have considerably reduced enemy e-boat activity. A German human torpedo. The operator enters the control torpedo, which is actually a standard 21-inch German torpedo minus the warhead. Secured to it is a torpedo complete with warhead. A specially adapted hatch provides visibility for the operator. When released, the explosive torpedo proceeds to the target under its own propulsion. The operator returns to his parent ship. The Nazis tried this device at Anzio. The torpedo ran up on the beach and the operator was captured. He required help to extricate himself from the hatch. North Burma monsoon rain stole work on a new causeway at the 148 mile mark of the Lido Road, important supply route moving closer to China. Engineers confronted with a low stretch of terrain, which was constantly being washed out, decided on a two-mile board road elevated on piling. The piles are driven in widths of three, raising the road at this point nine feet above the lowest spot on the old roadbed. The American engineers cap the piling and lay the flooring for the wooden stretch of the Lido Road. Southeast of the road, at the site of a demolished bridge, Chinese labor builds a suspension bridge across the Salween River. It's part of the campaign to reopen the Burma Road and effect a junction of Chinese troops on the Yunnan front with General Stilwell's forces in North Burma. Members of the Burma Road engineers give technical advice to the native construction company. Laborers cross the temporary span as work progresses on new towers and cables for the Huitang Bridge. The cable is pulled over the tower by block and tackle. Cable anchors are embedded in hillside caves. Further down the Burma Road, Chinese and American work crews combine to clear debris and abandoned equipment. Some of the battle wreckage has been blocking the road since 1942. In northern Burma, 5th August, Allied forces begin the push that followed the fall of Michinaw after the bitterest fighting in the campaign to open the Lido Road. The new drive involves the capture of Hill 60, near the important rail center at Mogong. Fording operations are necessary when deep mud and swollen streams bog down entire units. This stream is bone dry eight months out of the year. The monsoon season brings these difficulties. With all transportation facilities knocked out, supplies for the Burma troops are dropped by parachute. On 17th August, explosions destroy large stores of ammunition at a former Nazi ammo dump in the harbor area of Cherbourg, causing a number of deaths.
acres of ammunition were affected. Among the items stored by the Germans in this area were unexploded American 500-pound bombs dropped by our aircraft during the siege of Cherbourg. A demonstration of the crocodile flamethrower used with the Churchill tank at bretville sur odon 25th August. Special fuel is carried in an armored trailer. A geyser of fire can be thrown for more than 450 feet. Technique and control have been developed to the point where flame spray can be ricocheted to produce fire in distant pillboxes and trenches. The fuel carrying trailer is devised to be controlled from the tank and moved in any direction. If necessary, it can be jettisoned so that the tank may operate normally. In use as Allied armies advance through France, the Churchill crocodile has been designed as an emergency weapon to burn out enemy strong points. Films from the gun cameras of 8th Air Force fighter squadrons.
the Seine, 30 miles west of Paris, the first American-built bridge is constructed across the river. The span is of the steel treadway type supported by pneumatic ponton floats. A treadway bridge company assembles the approach section for the 512-foot bridge. Engineers report the job was completed in record time. On 24th August, exactly four minutes after the last pin was driven, the first armor rolls across to the north bank of the Seine. German capitulation in Paris. General Leclerc is present as the Nazi garrison is officially surrendered by its commander, Lieutenant General Dietrich von Schultitz. Collaborationists are rounded up along with the German occupation forces. At the Arc de Triomphe, huge crowds of Parisians see General Charles de Gaulle honor the unknown French soldier. General de Gaulle leads a procession down the Champs Elysees to the Place de la Concorde. His tour of the capital after it was freed included a stopover at the Cathedral of Notre Dame. 40,000 were packed in the square as the general entered. Snipers suddenly opened fire and the crowd scattered for cover. Snipers were active in various parts of the city, firing from windows and rooftops into heavy crowd concentrations. to shield captured pro-Nazis as they are pushed through throngs of aroused civilians. General Dwight D. Eisenhower visits Paris. The Supreme Commander's party includes Air Chief Marshal Sir Arthur Tedder, Deputy Supreme Commander, Lieutenant General Omar N. Bradley, and Lieutenant General Joseph Pierre Koenig, military governor of Paris. The first parade of American troops in the newly liberated capital of France. 